Good morning, Naina Pito. Good morning, ma'am. Please stand up so we can pray. Bow our head. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Okay, class, please pick up the garbage under your chair. Observe silence. So, is anyone absent today? Not None, Mom. Very good. So, class, how are you today? Feeling great, great Mom. Nice. That's good because you're feeling great. You're feeling good. You're feeling nice. We were going to have a mini game. Whoa, Who's baby. ready? Yes, yes Mom. Mom. So, we're going to have a short game before we're going to discuss our topic of today. So, it's Hold for peace. Hmm. Are you excited? Mom, yes, one word. Mom. Wow. Yes, one word. Yes. Four kids, one word. So, we're going to present you a four a key set of pictures which has um, four pictures in every set. So, we're going to identify what is the meaning of the pictures. Okay, so, Mom. For the first picture, Mm. Have an idea, but yeah, I think I, I know the picture. Mm. How Let's see you? later because I'm going to give you some clues. Reset mm. operation. You have mm. to answer it correctly because the one who will answer it correctly will have a prize. Wow! Are you excited? Yes, yes ma'am! Ma so, let's discuss first the first picture. Mm -hmm. The first oh. picture. My clue will be it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters mm -hmm. in the first word. But mm -hmm. we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, and nine no. letters in the second word. What do you think is the picture telling us? Mom, mom, mom. mom. Yes, Robin. Mom, I think the first one is unhappy. Unhappy. Maybe, but it's incorrect. Mm -hmm. Other guess. Mom. mom. Okay, let's call on Kate. Mom, I think it's pregnant. Pregnant, close. Pregnant is close. What do you think? Any other answer? Mom, give us clue. Give us clue. Okay, I'll give you the first letter of the second word, which is letter P. Oh. So, Mom. Mom. Okay, let's call on Christine. Mom, I think the second word would be pregnancy. Pregnancy. It is correct, but we're looking for the one and the second word. What would it be? Mom, mom, mom. Okay, from. Mom, it's teenage pregnancy. Very good, from. Yes. Let's try it on the board. Yes. Mom, this is teenage. Pregnancy. Pregnancy. For your prize, Pra. Thank you, Mom. Okay. So, are you ready for the second picture? Yes, yes. Mom. But first, let's discuss the first picture. So, what can you say about the reaction of the women? Mom. Mom. Okay, let's call on Princess. Mom, the woman look sad at the pictures very good the woman looks sad in the picture but why are the women look sad in the picture mom 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 okay christian mom i think since the woman is sad and um, they are not prepared because um they are getting pregnant in early age that is correct mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. woman looks sad because they aren't prepared and they are pregnant at the very early age so, let's move on 
to the second feature. Thank you for your input in the first feature. So, let's get it on. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Any guess? Mom. So, let's call on Erica. Mom, I think it's homeless. Homeless. Close enough, but it's not homeless. Any other? Mom. Um, let's call on Christian. Mom, how about hungry? Hungry. Maybe because of the third feature, mm -hmm. but in general, what does the feature tell us? Mom. Mom. Okay, let's call on my Mona. Mom, poverty. Poverty, poverty. that is correct, my Mona. Write it on the word, my Mona. So, my Mona got it correct. Poverty. Wow. Here's your prize, my Mona. Uh -huh. So, what can you say about poverty? Mom? Any volunteer? Mom! Okay, Ira. In my own perspective, when we say poverty, it means that they lack in different ways like foods, shelter, clothes, which are the basic necessity. That is correct. In the picture, they are lacking of the basic necessity and it's very sad. But through education, we can lessen or we can reduce poverty. But don't be sad because we have the next pictures. Me, so, me, me. who's ready? Mom. Mom. I am. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. Mom, mom. Mom. So, Dara, any guess? Mom, I think it's wedding. Wedding. Close wedding, mm -hmm. but it's not what we're Mama looking for. Mom. Okay, how about you, Raymond? Couples? Couples. Close. Mm. Mom! Any other guess? Yes, Erica. Mary. Mary. Close. Mom, give us a clue. Give us a clue. So. Since Erica said it was marrying, so I'm gonna give you a clue in at the end part. Mm -hmm. It's letter E. Mom, I know that. Mom, mom. Okay, how about you, Dale? Mom, it's marriage. That is correct. Yes. Mom, it is? Mom, it's not marriage. Very good. I am so happy that you got it correctly. So, thank you for participating. But first, let us discuss marriage. Anyone wants an idea when we say the word Mom. marriage? So, let's call on Julie. Mom, marriage is sacred and I believe that marriage should come first before having a children. That is correct, Julie. Marriage is a serious matter and you should commit to marriage when you are mature enough and you are responsible enough to build a family. So I am very happy because you answered it correctly and you participated very actively. Yay. Did you enjoy? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma very good that, we, that you enjoyed. So, this will be related to our topic for today that we're going to discuss later on. I'm just gonna delete this erase. Thank you for participating with the, uh, with the game. Hope you like it and hope you understand the lesson for today. Yes, ma'am. Very well. Yeah, games. Or one okay class, in the activity that I've done earlier, what do you think is our lesson for today? Mom! Mom. Yes, Mr. Christian. Mom, our lesson for today, um, 
I think it is about marriage and teenage pregnancy and what it costs to people, um, especially um, to children. Yes, that is correct. And aside from that, we were going to learn about the teenage pregnancy, um, marrying at the young age, and how it should be taken with conscious awareness and responsibilities. Now, class, try to read the title of our topic for today. Anyone in the class? Mom! Mom. Yes, Miss Bob Erica. Footnote to youth. Yes, that is correct. Footnote to youth. This is the one who's going to tackle or discuss for today. And uh, now, I have here a printed copy of this person. Who do you think he is? Anyone Mom. in the class? Who is familiar? Yes, Mr. Robin. Mom, I think that he is the character. Um, maybe not. Uh, actually not. Um, other student. Mm -hmm. Miss Dara. I think he is the author of the story. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. He is the, the author of Footnote to You. His name is Jose Garcia Villa. Okay, class. Uh, Jose Garcia Villa has a pen name of Dog Leon. Dog Leon, which means dog, eagle, and lion. And also, Dog Leon is a title of one of his books. And now, class, for the other information of Jose Garcia Villa, kindly read our PowerPoint presentation. Mommy. Yes, Mr. Franklin. Ma'am, um, Jose Garcia Villa, a Filipino poet, crit critic, short story writer, and painter, um, is an important person to recognize during Filipino-American History Month. So, it also, Villa has won numerous awards including the 1973 National Artist of the Philippines for Literature Month. Okay, correct. Mr. Franklin and... Uh, for another information, yes, Miss Crystal. His work in both poetry and challenging traditional poetic style continues to have an impact in modern poetry, both for, mo for members of the poetry community and other Asian American writers. Another footnote to youth is the title of the story. It is said that it is a footnote to youth because it is a brief reminder for the Filipinos, especially the youth, of what a real life could be today. It also indicates the sources of the causes why youth act this way. Thank you. That is correct, Ms. Crystal. Uh, and now that we already discussed the author's background and uh, a little hint about the footnote to youth, now, let us watch, uh, uh, plus I have prepared here a short movie that will give you a hint or a point of view about the footnote to you written by our author, Jose Garcia Villa. Please uh, watch it, watch and think critically. Okay, ma'am. Duda is impatiently waiting for his father to return home so that he can tell him of his love for the young. In his desire to marry her. He feels that at 17, he is a grown man and thinks that he's ready for the next important step in his life. When he tells his father that he has asked Peyong to marry him and wants his blessing, there is a long and cruel silence. His father asks if he must marry her because Dudo is very young. Dudo resents his father's question. And finally, his father gives his consent. Nine months later, Dudo is waiting outside while Peyong gives birth to their son, Blas. He feels young and inexperienced, a contrast to how he felt nine months ago. Dudo did not want any more children, but they came anyway. For the next six years, Peyong gave birth seven children in all. Peyong did not complain. However, her body was now shapeless and thin from bearing so many children and from the hard work of caring for them in the household. Even though she loved to them, she cried and wished that she had not married so young. There had been another suitor, Lucio, who was nine years older than Ludo. She chose
shows too long because he was so young. Lucio had married after she married Udo. However, he was childless. She wonders if she had married Lucio, would she be childless? She feels that would have been a better lot in life. But she loves Ludo, even though life has made him old and ugly. One night, Ludo goes outside and thinks about his life. He wants to have the wisdom to know why life does not fulfill its dreams. Why did life forsake you after love? He never finds the answer. When Blast turns 18, he comes home and tells Ludo that he wants to marry Dana. Ludo at this time is only 36 years old, but he is portrayed as much older than Ludo does not want Blast to marry so young. He asks the same question his father asked him. Does Blast have to marry Dana? He does not want him to make the same mistake he did. Blast also reacts with resentment. Ludo realizes that he is dealing with youth and love, and they will triumph over this situation. After that comes real life. He gave his consent, feeling sad and sorry for his son. So, class, did you enjoy the movie? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Very good, because we are going to have movie analysis to know if you really understand the movie. So, for the first question, what can you say about the movie? Ma'am! So, are you raising your hand, Erlene? Yes, ma'am. The, okay. mo the movie about Footnote to Youth is an eye-opener that marriage life is hard and bearing a child with such a young age is a, uh, is a very big responsibility. That is correct. Marrying at a young age is a big responsibility because you're still young and you're already a parent. So the challenges of these two couples is very it's very challenging. For the for the next six years they have six children in total. So imagine that children having being a child or being a youth, then you already have a child. To, to support what are the challenges or struggle you're feeling so it's very sad the next one would be what scene do you think is relatable in real life anyone to answer ma'am Ma yes let's call on robbie ma'am when dodong and Taeyong decided to get married at a young age thinking that they truly love each other uh, and after nine months Taeyang give birth to a child and six consecutive years a new child came along upon that Taeyang didn't complain but regretted getting married at a young age in life we easily get swayed with our feelings without realizing if we are prepared for it that is correct sometimes we easily decide but Marrying at a young age is a very big decision to do. And uh, being married means having a children afterwards. So at a young age, deciding to get married because they thought they are truly in love, they are madly in love, but then later on, they are unhappy of their relationship. They feel that they lost their self and they want to go back or to turn back the time, but they can't. But to take responsibilities of the actions they did. So, any other, I like the answer, huh? So, any other who has an idea or the same, or the scene that is relatable in real life? Ma'am! Oh, let's call on Frank. Ma'am, um, I think the scene um, where Blast wanted to get married as well at a young age. So, you can see that the child was following their parents' footsteps and that is getting married at a young age. Um, although Dodong knew that hardship of being a young parent, uh, he did not object for he is like him when he was 17. Um, so Dodong just advised Blas to think twice um, before marrying Tonama. 
that is correct. That sin is really relatable in real life. Some parents cannot control their child because they also did the same when they were younger. So what they can do is just to advise the child that they already suffer or they already experience that. They don't want their children to experience it. But then, they cannot do anything against them because they cannot blame them at the first place because they did it as well. So what Dodo did was just to give advice to blast, to think twice, to think more times before deciding to get married because it is a serious commitment. So for the next, do you think the title fits the story's content? Mom! Mom. To you. Yes! Let's call on Rosemary for this one. It is a story of Dodong who made a mistake in the past and ended up in unhappy life and he did not want his son to be like him. The title footnote to youth is suitable because it serves as a note or a reminder that the life of having your own family in a young age will not be easy as a king. That is correct. Marrying at a young age is really a big responsibility. And footnote to youth is very, very related to the story because it is a note to the youth to not get married at a young age because maturity and responsibility is needed when building a family. And that is really something you should take note because when you decide to get married, just read this story footnote to youth so you'll understand what the story is about and what you're gonna have in the future. It might be the same as them. So you better be educated you better finish your studies and um, have a job so your children won't suffer. And that's all for the next. And class. Okay, class. Now that we've already discussed the story footnote to you, let us recall the story. The first one is, how does the story start? Mom! Mom. Yes, Miss Erlin? Mom, I think would know to you to start when the main character, Dodong, working in the fields, um, he takes no real joy in his dusty work. He is too distracted, impatient to get home and tell his father that he has asked his girlfriend, Taeyang, the woman he loves, to marry him. And she accepted. Yes, that is correct, Miss Erlin. Dodong is the first person who described in the story that the author writes. And Dodo is the first person who asked about marrying at a very young age. And without thinking the responsibilities he is going to face at the future. And uh, for the next, um, how about the conflict? What is the conflict in the story? Yeah. Um, yes, Mr. Frank. Mom, um, the main conflict um, in the short story of Footnote to Youth um, by Jose Garcia Villa um, is the difficulty that the two young lovers face by marry marrying so early in life. Yes, that is correct, Mr. Trump. Um, Dodong and Blas got married at a very young age and we, uh, without thinking the responsibility, they faced a very difficult challenges like they didn't know how the future may be and that's why they suffer. And for the next? Mom! Um, what is the moral lesson you get in the story? Mom! Yes, Miss Ira! The moral lesson of the story is that marriage is something that is taken seriously because marriage, aside from being a sacred process, it is something that is full of responsibilities. When we, when you decide to get married and you do marry someone, there is no turning back. Yes, that is correct. That, that when you enter in a marriage situation, there is no turning back. Because a couple should be together. They live together and have a family. And with that, you should have the, you should prepare and have a conscious awareness about 
uh, physically, emo emotionally, and uh, mentally. And uh, how about the next one? Um, we are going to proceed the realization. What is your realization you get in the story? Wow. Anyone to follow me? Wow. Uh, yes, Mr. Cleto. Um, Mama, my realization is it takes time for everything. Um, we may think that we are ready to commit in serious, serious things, um, like building a family. But once you are there and you realize that you should be married at a young age, you cannot do anything to reverse time and continue being a youth. Um, and also, that's why we have to think many times before deciding serious matters. Yes, that is correct. That you need to think many times be before you enter in, uh, on getting married. Um, you should enjoy your youth uh, while you were young. Do what you want. Uh, do what makes you happy. And don't rush things. Uh, uh, don't rush things because right time will come soon. And uh, that's why uh, don't fool by the others uh, to getting marriage at a very young age. And now, class, anyone uh, have a question? None, no. mom, so far. Okay, that is good. That is uh, impressive. So if none, let's proceed. Um, kindly get a one half yellow pad and write an essay about your understanding in the story and how it can affect in one slide. Uh, it should be a paragraph form. Um, it consists of at least three sentences. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, um, I'll give you 10 minutes. So class, you may start now. Okay, class, last five minutes. Okay, class, just one minute. Okay, time's up. So, um, please be seated and quiet. So, I will call at least two students to share their thoughts in the story. So, anyone volunteer? Sir. So, Miss Erka. I learned that marriage is a sacred process that binds two people together and it is a responsibility that must be taught of many times. We cannot turn back the time of so we need to be very critical in our decisions. I also learned that because of our wrong decisions in life, our future future children may follow it and we cannot argue because we also experience it. So that's good. That's a wonderful answer. So we need to be very critical in our decision. We need to follow our brains not only in height because there are so many temptations in life. Um, but it's proper understanding with its consequences in the future, um, we can make some change. So, so aside from her, who wants to answer? Sir! Sorry. Yes, Miss Ebreo? My answer, this story is about how a boy and a girl experience what real life is at an early age because of their naiveness and stubbornness. That is why I learned that there is a proper time for everything, that we do not need to rush everything for it will be done when it's about to. We need to enjoy being a youth before entering the real world. So thank you, Mr. Breo. That's a good answer. So in life, we need to uh, enjoy this moment. So we, we don't need to rush things because we are young. Um, we need to pursue our dreams first. So then when you are responsible enough and old enough, uh, then you can start a business. And you can start a, a, a business, uh, study hard. So 
you can uh, give treasure to your children and grandchildren and to have a great future. So, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Is there any concern? None, None sir. sir. So, if not, kindly pass your yellow pad and I will be the one to check your works. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. Well done, class. class. So, uh, since um, I hope you have a great, um, we have a great discussion today. Yes, so, sir. Do you have a, any um, concern? No, no sir. So, is it, if not, um, for your assignment, uh, write an essay about food no to youth and it have an introduction, body, and conclusion. So, be guided to our criteria. For the first is creativity, 50%. For the grammar, 20%. For the vocabulary, 20% as well. And for the quality of writing, it must be cursive and no erasure, 10%. So total, 100%. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. That's good. I am. Um, so, that's good. So, I am glad. So, we are done to, uh, to this to this topic and uh, put it to you. So, please stand up and let's have a closing prayer. Mm -hmm. the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. For all you have given, thank you, God. For all you have withheld, thank you, God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. So call it a day. So thank you, classmate. Uh, thank you, class. And class dismissed. Thank you, sir.